Hello everyone. Welcome to the orientation video for financial accounting. My name is Professor Reeves and I will be your instructor for this course. So many of you should be aware that we have switched from the Blackboard site to Canvas as our learning management system. So once you're on the school's website, stlcc.edu, you will click where it says current students, matriculate down to the tab that says Canvas, click on the Canvas tab, and then click on the login screen. It should be the same access information that you had for the Blackboard site. Once you're on Canvas, you will find our course, which is ACC 110, Section 230. Okay. So once you're on the course, you want to begin with the home screen. Any announcements that I have posted will be posted here. So there's a welcome and a greeting that is out there for you now that provides information about the course. I'll go back to the home screen. There are also going to be resources from the community college, resources pertaining to the libraries, online writing center, different posts, etc. You can find that information as well on the home screen. Next, there's a welcome screen. Welcome to financial accounting. So I want to click on the course introduction screen. And here you will find more information about the course as well as the orientation video will be posted here under the course introduction screen. The next tab is information about me, your instructor. So it has my contact information, my virtual office hours, and I give you a brief bio regarding my professional and educational career. Okay, that's followed by the syllabus. I'm going to click on the syllabus tab. And the syllabus information about the course. So the first tab is information about this course. Again, this is a four credit hour online course. Next, it has my contact information. It has my phone number as well as my email address. And again, for the summer session, I have only virtual online hours, Mondays and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If there's ever a need to meet in person, appointments can be made for that as well. Communication expectation. You should log into campus a minimum of every 48 hours to see if there have been any updates, any new announcements put on the Canvas site. You can contact me again via email or by phone, and I will return most messages within a maximum time of 48 hours. It may be a little longer on the weekend, but typically I try to return any phone call or email by the next day. This course, Financial Accounting, is a measurement and presentation of financial data. Our focus for this course is on how to prepare different type of corporate financial statements. We'll look at income statements, balance sheets, statement return earnings, statement of cash flow, the different type of statements that are prepared by public corporations. We want to make sure that they follow the accounting rules known as generally accepted accounting principles. Next, you have the learning outcome for the course that you can read, followed by the required course material. For this course, we're using the textbook called Financial Accounting, Tools for Business Decision Making. It is the ninth edition by Kimmo White Gan and Kiso. This is a Wally Plus textbook. Every student 
must have access to the Wally Plus site. So you must purchase an access code to the Wally Plus site. And we'll talk more about how to access Wally Plus. Now, once you're on the Wally Plus site, you do have the option to use the ebook. Or if you prefer, you can also get a hard copy of the textbook. But once again, every student must have access to the Wally Plus site. Next, there's data about the required from a technology standpoint, the course procedures. So again, this is an online course. Everything is measured via the internet and the Canvas website will be our main tool. We have what's called a Wally Plus integrated Canvas site, meaning that you do not go to Wally Plus, you go to the Canvas site in order to access the Wally Plus information. And I'll show you that in a few as well. Evaluation procedures. This is showing how you're going to accumulate points during the course of the semester. You will earn points from your examinations. There's a computer project. You will have quizzes, homework, and you will earn participation points via the discussion board posted for each chapter. This is showing how many points you need to earn for each letter grade as well. All of your points earned will be recorded in the Canvas Grade Center. Okay. Attendance policy. For an online course, you are marked present only once you have completed at least one required assignment for that particular week. So once again, to be marked present, you must complete at least one required assignment for that particular week. So each student that does not complete at least one required assignment within the first two weeks of the semester may be administratively withdrawn from the course for non-attendance. So hopefully that won't take place for anyone, but be sure to complete the required assignments on time and definitely make sure you complete at least one assignment within the first two weeks of the semester. Next year, there's policies about homework, late assignments, integrity, et cetera. So again, review those different policies under the on your syllabus, including the withdrawal policy, disability, et cetera. And last, you're going to have the course outline. This is showing the chapters we're going to cover during our eight week class section. It also shows the weeks that you're gonna have your exam. So you will have four exams. You're gonna have an exam every other week. The exams are highlighted in the bowl and you will hear more about the exam dates as those dates are coming closer. So be sure to review carefully all of the content listed under the course syllabus. Okay, I'm going to now click on the modules tab. I'm going to click on the modules tab, and here you see the resources as well, the welcome, but I want to go to the chapter one module. Inside this chapter one module, first there's an introduction blog. This blog is all about you. It allows for you to learn more about your peers that's in the course, et cetera. So you will earn two bonus points for completing the introduction blog. It will also be used as a way to verify your attendance in this course. So this assignment must be completed by 11.59 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, June the 12th. Also inside the week one module, you have the objectives for chapter one. There are chapter one resources. There are videos out there for chapter one. There's audio reviews. You have Excel working papers. There's an extra set of homework assignments called exercise set B that you can work on 
and they're there to help you get a better understanding of the concepts that are being covered in each of these chapters. There are videos that show you how to complete exercises similar to what you have for homework. So please be sure to take advantage of the different items up under the chapter one resources. There are also lecture videos I have prepared for each chapter. So review the chapter one lecture videos. In addition, you have the chapter one PowerPoint lectures. And that will take us to our chapter one assignments. You have your chapter one homework and you also have your chapter one quiz. Now for Wally Plus, when you first go to the chapter one homework assignment and when you click on the open button, it will take you to the Wally Plus site. Your first time on the Wally Plus site, you will have to register for Wally Plus. You'll be required to purchase an access code. So if you purchase a new textbook from the any of the community college bookstore, it comes with an access code, or you can buy an access code from the Wally Plus site. Now, for those who may be waiting on financial aid or other, some other funding source, you are allowed to use Wally Plus for a 14-day grace period free of charge. So there's no excuses for not getting your work done. Again, you can use Wally Plus for a 14-day grace period free of charge. Once that period has ended, you're required at that time to purchase an access code. Okay, so your chapter one homework as well as your chapter one quiz are all available up under the chapter one module on the Canvas site. So you have a similar module for chapters two, chapter three, et cetera. Each of those modules, again, we have the objectives for that chapter, lecture videos, PowerPoint presentations, other resources as well as your homework and your quizzes. So be sure to review the information under the modules tab on the Canvas site. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the content on Canvas as well as how to access the Canvas site and how to access the Wally Plus site. If you have any questions, again, my information you can find under the home tab under the about your instructor here you have my contact information email as well as phone number so please do not hesitate to reach out and contact me with any questions okay well let's get prepared for a great semester and i'll talk to you all soon have a great day